anyone who knows me is gonna be like, of course Ben makes a video about his Subaru. I had to. I didn't have an option. This was the only video I could make. See, the thing about cars is you need an insurance policy to be able to drive them. Some see this as a negative, not me. I see an auto insurance policy as a ticket to having the ultimate amount of freedom. Ever since I can remember, I've been a car guy. I like all cars. I like all brands. I like all shapes, colors, styles, you name it. I, I think they all have a purpose and there's literally a car out there for everyone. There's one, a car that suits everybody's needs. For me, however, I'm hooked on Subaru. I like the image that the brand portrays and I just think they make all around great vehicles. Let me share with you why I love my Subaru and how it helps enable the lifestyle that I live. Hey guys, before we go any further, I wanna thank Merit Insurance Brokers for helping me insure this vehicle from the very beginning. If you're looking for a great insurance brokerage to help you out with any of your insurance needs, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below and you can go and check them out. Now, back to the video. The first reason why I love my Subaru is because of its practicality. First of all, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's built on the Subaru Impreza, which means it's basically the same size as any other compact car out there. But with ground clearance of and hold on, I looked this up. Um, 8.7 inches, you feel like an SUV on the road. And very importantly, and I did a lot of video on this that you're gonna see right now, this also means you don't have to worry about hitting curbs or going fast over bumps. I hate getting in a, what I'll call a normal car, such as a, a Mazda 3. Ugh, Mazda 3s, I'm just kidding. Mazda 3s, great car. I'm only using Mazda 3 because my fiance has one and every now and then I have to drive it. But I hate getting in this thing and feeling like every corner I'm going around or every parking lot I'm pulling up to, I'm about to just rip off the bumper. I've been close. I'm probably, I'm just not used to it, which means I'm not careful enough, um, but don't have to worry about that in the Subaru. So point A of practicality is not too big, not too small, good ground clearance. Point B of practicality for the Subaru Crosstrek, it's a hatchback. Do yourself a favor, get the hatchback. The amount of shit that I've packed into this thing is insane. sums up point B of practicality for the 2015 Subaru Crosstrek. The hatchback, phenomenal. Point C, practicality, 2015 Subaru Crosstrek is a big one. Listen up, three words, all wheel drive. And not just any all wheel drive, Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive. Look it up or don't, I'm about to tell you about it. What I love about Subarus and what kind of drew me to them initially is that every single one of their vehicles comes standard with all wheel drive. And they call their all wheel drive system symmetrical all wheel drive. Symmetrical all wheel drive has been proven to be one of the best all wheel drive systems in the automotive industry. Trust me, I know I watch so many videos of Subaru all wheel drive compared to every other manufacturer's all wheel drive system. 
Subaru really perform well every single time, often outperforming everyone else. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put some links in the description below and you can watch the same videos that I watched over and over again and you can tell me if you think that Subaru's all-wheel drive is better or not. If you have a different car, also let me know if you think it's better than Subaru's all-wheel drive. I'm open for discussion. And that sums up point C for practicality of the 2015 Subaru Crosstrek. Moving on to styling. Now, obviously styling is very subjective. Everyone has their own tastes, their own preferences. Oh, but I just love the look of this car. The sort of hatchback wagon styling that it has to it. It's perfect, just, oh. And that being said, I think the hatchback wagon look looks good on any car. I, I prefer that look to a normal sedan any day of the week. And honestly, when the car first came out, um, I don't know when it was, I'm gonna say 2012-ish. I wasn't a huge fan of the actual body styling of it, but just kind of as time went on, it, it really grew on me. And now I, I actually, think I like the look of it more and more every day. And I actually think I might go as far to say that I like the, uh, that I like the 2015 kind of style um, compared to the, the new styling. So with cross tracks, a lot of people tend to really modify them a lot for sort of that outdoor off-roading uh, kind of style. You know, they'll lift them up, put bigger tires, bigger rims, um, roof racks, cargo carriers, you name it. I would love to do this, but I don't really want to spend the money kind of to do that because it, it costs a lot to modify your car. Maybe one day, maybe in the next couple Subarus, maybe I'll kind of look into that. But you know, this is my first one. I, I'm gonna kind of keep it the way it is. I did add on a few personal OEM parts when I bought the car. And I wouldn't even call them parts. I would just call them sort of styling stick-ons basically is what they are. And then what I did is I like the look of roof racks a lot on any car. I think a, any car, it could be a, a minivan and have roof racks on it makes the car look 10 times better, I think. You can have a smart car and have roof racks. I think it looks great. So I added on the roof racks uh, to the Subaru and I got silver crossbars from Thule because it accents the sort of little trim pieces that I added on. Um, and overall, I think it's just like a great looking car. I also added the roof racks on because it adds so much practicality in terms of what I can carry around. I do have a paddleboard that I tend to take out from time to time. So having these on there really gives me, um, you know, just that extra added flexibility. And then if I want to add something else onto it, on top of the roof racks, down the road, I'm able to do that as well. And for me, that's really what sums up of the styling. I just like the look of the car. I think it looks great. Um, there's a lot more on the road now, so they're very popular. I can tell other people like them too. So they're doing something right. Subaru, keep it up. One of the last things that I think makes Subaru's great cars is their overall affordability. You know, nowadays there's actually so many great cars out there that if I was in the market for a new car today, I would probably be pretty overwhelmed at the amount of options that I have. Every manufacturer has a car that is appealing to someone in one way or another, and they have those cars at every single different kind of price point. The difference between Subaru and every other manufacturer is that every single one of the Subaru cars comes standard with all wheel drive. That means just about every other car on the market in the same sort of segment you have to buy up in trim level to be able to purchase an all wheel drive package. And this ultimately makes the cars more expensive. And that's what I love about the Subaru is they put so much importance on that all wheel drive system. It's ingrained in their brand so deeply. So do me a favor, next time you're car shopping, just give a Subaru a chance. Give the Crosstrek a chance. I'm guaranteeing that you'll probably end up liking it. If not, let me know, leave a comment below. You might be saying, yeah, but I can get fancier technology in a different car, but the reality is if you're choosing between a car with all wheel drive and a car with no all wheel drive, but more technology, personally, I would take the car with all wheel drive any day of the week. Why? Well, look yourself in the mirror and say, is the technology that I'm buying in the car today, aside from safety features, really gonna help me when I'm you know, up north, stuck in a snowstorm or big rainstorm or some sort of weather that I'm a little nervous to drive in. Um, and you know, I'd probably rather have a car that's more stable on the road than you know, that extra sort of fancy tech feature that's might be providing me with a little bit more comfort on in the inside. The all wheel drive is gonna be more important hands down. It's gonna make you a safer, more confident driver. And that's why I love that they put so much stock in that sort of image 
for their brand. Um, and they do a great job at marketing that. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about my car. This is just one example of how insurance can enable someone's lifestyle. In this case, we looked at my car and you know how important it is to have insurance to be able to go to the places that I wanna go. And I think when talking about auto insurance is it's natural to kind of want to talk about how much it costs and how everyone hates how much it costs. But we all love cars. And we all love what they can do for us. And I guarantee that at some point in your life or um, whether it's now or down the road, you might have that sort of connection to your vehicle because it, it takes you places. Uh, you make memories in those things. And so I would say the next time you're thinking about your vehicle and your car insurance, rather than thinking of it as burning a hole in your pocket, Think about the value that's adding to your life. I don't know about you, but I'd pay any amount of money to be able to go where I want, whenever I want, and know that if something happens along the way, I'm protected. And that, my friends, is just one way of many that insurance plays an important role in our life. I hope you enjoyed this, and stay tuned for the next video.